That right there is one foggy pep sheet. Now to install another one, which is a pain in the absolute ass. This is incredibly painful to do, but I finally finished it. And if it looks like it's clear, that's because there's a clear FEP sheet in it. And now you can see it right there. Uh, it is such a pain. I did it once, screwed it up. I had to do it again and finally didn't screw it up. Um, takes like three hours to do. It is incredibly painful. Um, but let's, I can finally start printing now. So you'll see the new water pump. Uh, I'm just gonna try and cut this video short. So you'll really just see the final result and all that stuff. Okay, so this video is gonna be a little bit overdue just because I haven't really gotten time to do it all. It's not that I haven't gotten time. It's more that I've been screwed over by my 3D printer a bunch of times. So, um, yeah, um, this is the pump. I told you in my last video that I would upgrade my little system and I have a better battery and I can actually control it now. Um, sad, because this one is actually supposed to be, this is actually a little bit smaller than the normal size it should be, and it still doesn't fit. I have to use a 95% size for it to fit. Um, I will put in the description the links of the file um, so that way you can create it too if you have a 3D printer yourself. Um, hint, hint. You know, this isn't really a hint. This is just me saying it. I'm going to make two of these and strap them to a boat and a little RC boat and try and see if it'll work. Because it was actually pretty powerful. It'll, I think it'll work. Um, so, yeah. That's all I have. See you. So I know I didn't really get to show you me printing it and assembling it, um, but I will leave the link to the files in the description. Uh, I do not own these files and I did not make them, so yeah, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. See ya.